My name's Sherry. Um, welcome to my Jemimus um, record of my July. I've been, I did March, I did one in March, um, which was inspired by a um, lovely gamer, Tales from Cuckoo Land. And I've seen some lovely vlogs out there by Sherry, Rachel. I've been loving them all. So I'm putting my July out there. It's just a record of my everyday life which is quite ordinary and I think most of us probably do have an ordinary life, don't we? Anyway, you're very welcome to come along. So good morning, um, it's Monday, first day of my Julymus, a little, on a little vlog that I'm doing. Um, not the most exciting of days actually to start with because my Mondays are always about packing up the orders that I have got from my Friday night shop update and over the weekend. Most of them have already gone out today, these are the ones that are going out with the Minis Club, so if people order a Minis Club and they order the yarn, I put them all out on the same day so that I can give them a bit of postage back. Uh, it takes a while, because obviously each one has to be individually wrapped. I'm choosing some green today um, for packaging and some polka dot. And yes, each one has to be individually wrapped, obviously. And I write a little note with each one and then a lavender bag and it takes a while. I love doing it, but it's not the most exciting thing to start my vlogmas off with. Sweet little strawberries we came at, that came out of the garden. And yeah, I've been painting strawberries. So this is the artwork for the... Um, Wildflowers Minis Club this month so we always do either myself or Chris who's my son that works with me would do some artwork um, for the label and things like that so yeah that's what we've been doing today and these little strawberries maybe, maybe teeny tiny but oh, very tasty so anyway that's been going on. Another couple that I did before. She wasn't very happy with those. That's my best effort. Anyway, back to doing that. So it's about half past eight. I've got my PJs on. Snoozy Archie by my feet. Um, I'm just having a little read, actually. I'm reading. Monty and Sarah Dawn, Jewel Garden, which I am about halfway through. So I'm going to have a read of that, try and get that finished. And I've got a Vogue, and the reason I've got a Vogue, my old Vogue, it's an old one, but I'm just trying to find, I want to have my hair cut, and there was a hair cut that I saw in here, oh sorry, that I saw in here that I wanted. 
I'm glad to see her. Attitude to. Um, this is a faffle. I'm going to find it and come back to you. Found it. So, that kind of thing. Really? Yeah, same haircut. So that's what I'm thinking. Last time I went to the hairdressers, I had like two centimetres off, if that. So I'm going to be very brave because my hair's sort of down to here now. It's way too long. So yeah. I won't look anything, well I won't look anything like that obviously, but my hair won't look anything like that even if I have the identical cut. But anyway, that's what I'm going to go for. That's the plan, Stan. Broke the glass on this painting, look. Hmm. Rats. A little bit of knitting. Do you know, do you remember when you were um, young and you, all oh, those years ago, and you used to go to bed and you didn't want to be in bed because um, you wanted to be downstairs where your mum and dad were outside. And now, and if you went to bed in daylight, it was like, oh, look at that. I made loads of mistakes. Um, I'm sorry, I didn't want to be... I want to be downstairs, I want to be outside, because it's daylight. And now, being in bed when it's daylight, bloody delicious. What happened here? There it is. Another mistake. You'd think I'd notice doing that. But nope. Not at all. Oh, and this. I've been watching this. Um, the Children Act Such an idiot. with look at her Emma Thompson I love her I could watch anything that she's in but yeah if you haven't seen this mind you I haven't seen to the end yet but it's really good I'm going to cry I feel tears coming on soon but yeah it's really good so one of my things to do today is to clear this off it's a right blooming mess. That's not looking very well. However, that is looking much better now. Anyway, yeah, it's all got a bit of a mess, so that's one job. So, just off to the fabric shop get, to get something for to finish off the Wildflowers Minis Club, which has been packaged up today. Um, had a good bit of news this morning actually because one of our customers is this lovely lady and her summer celebration box hadn't turned up. I was mortified because we were trying to figure out last night how we were going to do it for her because oh look at that seagull. It's so um, brazen. Look! We don't um, buy in the minis already in 10 grams or 20 grams. We dye up a full skate and then hand wind them into 10 or 20 gram mini skeins. So we were just trying to work out how quickly we could do that for her and get it off to her so that she would still be able to enjoy it and open it at the same time as everybody else. Um, and I would have had to have redone her hand embroidered bag, which should be forever. So I was scrambling around last night trying to find all the um, different um, colours for that and anyway she contacted me this morning to say that it has turned up so you pee that's great news I'm gonna pop in there later actually do a bit of shopping in Sainsbury's there's a really good um, good selection of little of uh, vegan food in there at the moment so anyway off to the fabric shop which is much more fun than shopping well it is shopping but much more fun than shopping for food Archie waiting for me to kick that revolting football. <coughs> this is a rose that's planted um, 
One chicken here, you shush. It was planted. Big barking, look. Barky, barky face. Um, in memory of Keith's mum and dad, we lost Keith's mum quite recently. Last year it didn't do a lot, but this year it's beautiful. It smells lovely. And this is a weed, but it's not going anywhere because I love it. There he is again. You're getting your face in everything, Monty. I see, I see you. Um, it's a lovely sort of miniature apple. Which you'll find the name of, can't remember. That's gone bonkers this year as well. Morning, little one. Come to ask for his food. You are lovely, aren't you? We've got about eight of them now in the garden. quick cup of tea, teeny bit of toast in my little um, penguin mug, which is strictly speaking a Christmas mug but it stays out all year round. Tea, this, I wish I loved coffee, I don't, but um, this is really lovely. I can't drink it, it smells great, everyone around me drinks it but I can't in my room doing some work just wanted to show you this back in Marchmas if you did see my Marchmas I showed this and I had killed off one of the little plants and I said does anyone know what I'm doing wrong and I think Gaynor I think she said I drowned it and just to give them water in the bottom and let them drink which I did she's a clever girl that Gaynor no look I mean that they don't look that impressive but it was teeny tiny when I got that. She knows her stuff, Gainer. Anyway, I've had a tiny tidy up, enough that I can show you some of it. Still got to do my windows so we can't see that. Look at that. Dandelion still sitting there. Anyway. Books I'm reading. Well, no, Suitable Boy is my next to read. I was going to start that ages ago. I've read it once before. One of my all-time favourite books. Shell Seekers. Everyone loves the Shell Seekers, but I'm, you know, halfway through, nearly halfway through. And I do remember the story, to be fair, but I had to put it down because um, I got a bit bored with it. Anyway, I'm going to try again. My old paint set that I've had for ever. I've had that since I was about... Oh, I don't know, 18. And it's been man it's really old. And it's had look at that. And it's been um refilled a hundred times over with different paints. That were the reels were the original ones I got. Anyway, I digress. Um there I am. Cottons, scissors. Hand cream, don't know where I'd be without that. That's actually not um, into uh, Turkish Delight. It's the broken box, but I keep all my paper clips in there. Um, obviously Nancy. And this little thing, which I love. My little pin cushion. And all my... Um, Brushes, um, pens. This needs, this needs a good dust. Um, all my pens I use for um, journaling and things. My pint of water, which where would I be without that? So I've got quite a big desk, but I don't actually have any drawers with it. So I have a lot of storage up and on the walls. These are all my hoops. These are the artworks for the um, clubs that we do. That was a kingfisher one. I loved painting that. I might actually frame that because I do like it. My little daisy chains. This 
This is a card from um, Obligena, who is Tales from Cookie Land. Ooh. And she's so funny. Look what she did. She sent me a card. Colony of Beaters. That was so funny. I can just picture her saying that. So anyway, I'll have to put that back up in a minute. But that's there to keep me smiling. My um, printer, which I couldn't be without. This, which is actually a bag of um, a little um, thing that I made. Basket. Words won't come to me. Um, and these are just all my salvages and strips that I can't, that's Liberty. That I can't, actually, a lot of Liberty print went into the celebration of summer box. And I can't throw it away. What's wrong with me? But I will use it for something. I might use it for tying tags on or things like that. My Barflowers books. All my favourite things. That's my friend Nikki. I love that. All my notebooks. I've shown you all of those before. All my labels waiting to go on yarns. Oh, that's new. That's a new little house. Which I actually got from the Topsham. Topsham. Oh, it's not called Topsham. It's called Topsham. I got told off for that for saying it wrong by someone in the museum. It's Topsham. Got that from Topsham Museum. And this actually is where I keep up my buttons. This had chocolates in. Look, all my mother of pearl and all these are my favourite ones. Yeah, this had chocolates in. The chocolates weren't all that, but the package that was in it's lovely. Sunnies. Oh, and these. That's my little Glastonbury thing from when we went in. Last were there, which was 2017. Didn't get to go this year, really miffed by that. Um, these are some hoops that have actually been sent, which I'm going to try out. What hoops do you use for your hand embroidery? These I have never, so this is the kind of hoop I would normally buy, bamboo. These are trimmets, um, which I love them. These clover, the ones that they've sent me, I've, I've never actually used these before. They're plastic, which is not something I would, I don't know, just not something I would normally go for, but I like this bit at the top, because when you are doing embroidery, your threads are constantly getting caught around this bit, so actually I'm quite interested to see how, how they are, so yeah. And give those a go. Um, they're all ready. I'm going to be doing my. I am actually, honestly, going to be doing my um, stitch along. I think I'm going to do cow parsley. I think that's the easiest thing to do. And uh, I, they've sent me quite a few of these, so I thought we would have a little giveaway as well. So if you'd like to win some hoops. Anyway, yeah, that's my sort of workroom, wonky picture of Lyme Regis, I love the light, I love that reflection, shadow, it's not a reflection Sherry is it, it's a shadow, and there's some vintage threads that I picked up in my local shop, yeah, anyway, back to work, it's my little whack towel, gorgeous, Sweetie, particular fan of cheese. Come on then. She brought all her little chips into the garden. Sometimes I put little bits on the floor. Um, excuse my compost. But um, I'm also going to struggle. Dubs not to come and eat that. Look at that rusty old table and chairs. Oh, I love it to bits. Put loads of plants on it and bird food. And I don't put it on the floor is because see how tiny that is. My dogs will find that and eat that. But Monty can't have anything like that. 
dog's really anything, the Labrador's well anyway. So all ready to package up. So these are all the labels for the Wildflower Minis Club and the little um, tags, thank you notes, lavender bags and the bags that they sort of go out in. Give you an idea actually. Got one here, kept for myself. I don't very often keep them for myself. I've even got it packaged up, so I'll, I'll open it when I come to use it. But so this is how they sort of go out. So it's tissue paper inside. I'll probably be able to show you that tomorrow. But, um, yeah. So they're all ready to go. We sold a few extra this month, and they also... Which has confused me completely. We did a three-month subscription. Um... So I'm printing out all my orders and thinking, oh, there's not as many as I thought. And then I realise there's lots of three-month subscriptions, so that's confused with me. Anyway, we're ready to package now. Mm -hmm. 